man. If you told me four hours ago, you know, excuse me about the noise in the background there. If you told me four hours ago Tom Brady would win his seventh Super Bowl ring, I wouldn't even believe you. I wouldn't even believe you. Because I said, you know, in my Super Bowl preview video, predictions video, what was that, Thursday or Friday, said the Chiefs would win a close one. That did not happen. Did not happen. Did not come close to happening. And it was a blowout. Blowout. For all intents and purposes, this was a blowout. For all intents and purposes, this was the Bucks dominating the Chiefs for four quarters. I get it. Two offensive linemen were out for the Chiefs, but that's not too much of an excuse now, is it? I get it. There was a little bit of ref ball in this game as well. A little bit. Not too much. A little bit. A couple of calls were pretty bad, but some of them some of them were, you know, they were the correct call. As they were. That ended up not being anything. When you have guys like Sean Murphy Bunting, Jace Pierre Paul, Navcon Sue, Devin White, you know, out there parading on the field, making a show of it, making it you know, look where the Chiefs looked like little kids out there. They looked like little kids out there on that field Sunday night. And for four hours, you know, we saw the Chiefs get ev eviscerated. I mean, we saw them get beaten. But it's okay. It's okay for the Chiefs. Again, you know, they'll, be, they'll, they'll probably be back here at some point. Who knows? If it's next year, who knows if it's, you know, you know how long, however long it will be. But, man, Tom Brady gets ring number seven. And you know who else gets a ring? You know, Gronk gets a ring. Antonio Brown gets a ring. And Dominican Sue gets a ring. Blaine Gabbert. That's right. Blaine Gabbert gets a ring. You know, Leonard Fournette gets a ring. You know, Fournette got a touchdown. He, he was playing pretty damn good out there. He had 140 yards from scrimmage out there. You know, Brown caught a touchdown. Gronk caught two of them. And Brady and company played very efficiently. Very, very efficiently. They dominated this game. They they made this into you know, they made this into what, what they wanted to be. That's what the Bucks wanted. Bruce Arians gets his first Super Bowl victory. Now now our sights are set for 2021-2022 season. And, man, who knows what's going to happen in between now and then. But I'm excited. I'm, I'm ready for another year covering NFL with you all. So, you know, stick around. Come on back. Subscribe, like, share, do all that good stuff, blah, blah, blah. You know, you know the whole drill by now. But this will also serve as a segue into something else real quick. And that is a channel update. You know, March Madness is coming. It's around the corner. You know, NBA Finals, you know, they'll be in July. But, you know, NBA videos will be kind of weekly. Probably not weekly. Who knows? You know, things are the way things are set up now. Is that I don't have the patience, you know, for the NBA right now. College basketball, you know, weekly videos are still gonna be a thing until the season ends. Uh, indoor football, don't know about that yet. Again, that's a whole nother spectrum in and of itself as to where that is. FCS coming back next Saturday. I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to watch any of these games because they're all ESPN Plus. But yeah, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? You know, plenty of videos on the pipeline. It just depends on how I feel. It depends on how things go. And again, forget about the noise in the background. I'm not going to be able to edit that out or anything like that. Um, yeah, y'all take care. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.